자 여러분 드디어 저 차도로가 여기 왔습니다 UFC 퍼포먼스 인스티튜트죠 어, 선수들을 관리해주고 또 케어해주고 운동까지 할수 있는 그런 시설인데요 어, 오늘은 UFC 어, TOF 오디션 프로그램이죠 시즌1 최초 우승자이자 전 라이트 헤비급 챔피언 그리고 지금은 명예 전당에도 환액이 되어 있는 레전드 포레스트 그리핀 선수와 함께 이 시설을 둘러볼 것입니다 자 날씨도 추운데 바로 들어가시죠 뭔가, 뭔가 조용해야 될것 같아요. Well, welcome to the Performance Institute. So the UFC Performance Institute built in 2017. Um, it was built to supply UFC athletes with all those services that other professional athletes have. So your sports dietetics, sports psychology, sports medicine, physical therapy, chiropractic, athletic training, uh, strength and conditioning, obviously, and sports science. So wow. that's what we do here. We provide all those to UFC athletes at no cost. So. And, and this place is only for UFC athletes? Uh, we let some other professional athletes in on occasion, but we charge them a lot of money. Now, without further ado, if you could please show us around the place and explain sure. to us what we do here. Okay. Oh, wow. It's like so, a hospital. This is a sports dietetics room. Uh, are you familiar with this guy? No, what is this? So this is a DEXA, dual energy x-ray. And what it does is it tells the gold standard of body composition. So it tells you how much fat you have, where that fat is, how much lean mass you have, uh, or where that. Do you use this yourself? Uh, I've done it, yeah. Yeah? I have a lot of body fat. <laughs> These things happen as you get older. So um, the other thing they do in this room a lot is the metabolic cart. So the metabolic cart, you gotta lay down for about 20 minutes, right. you rest, you breathe in a mass, it gives you your basal metabolism, which is how many calories you burn a day just being alive. Wow. Um, and then they kind of add in your workouts and they're able to give you a pretty accurate calorie count. And then they, our sports dietetics team gives you food to fulfill those needs based on your workouts and how high, how high the intensity is, etc. Wow, Pretty cool stuff, right? So high tech. Yeah, it is. Mm. And, and the other thing you can do is help an athlete decide what weight class they belong in. Free icon meals oh, the last wow. six weeks before their fight. They get all the meals if they're here through the cafe, uh, set up free of charge, set up by our sports dietitian team. So, you know, they, they're not just telling you what to eat, they're ordering it for you and telling you when to eat it and everything. It's pretty yeah. awesome. It's pretty amazing. It is. We're just getting started. What the hell is this? So this, <laughs> we'll start right here, I guess. So this is an Ultra G treadmill, anti-gravity treadmill. If you have any kind of lower body injury, you might run in this. Wow. So you run with the correct gait as opposed to limping and having a secondary injury. You can run with as little as 20% of your body weight, and then they'll progressively add that load as you're ready. So we'll, we'll check out our strength and conditioning area. Oh, it's cool. We got cool wow. stuff. Wow. This is a gym. Yeah, we have an impact wall right there. Obviously a, a running track. Cool feature, all these hangar doors that you see, they open. Wow. So cardiovascular kind of conditioning area right here. So a, re a reaction board, so yeah, that's a Synaptec. Oh, and so <laughs> wow. that's gonna not only capture your reaction time and, and your ability to make those decisions, but then you, you store it so you see where you are, if you're improving and it, and it has some relation to your, uh, uh, you know, to, to your readiness level. But all of this is so scientific. Yeah, it is. So right here, we have, um, <laughs> yeah, so this is a bilateral force plate. Yeah. Uh, it looks like they were doing probably some single leg stuff or something, pushing on this. Uh. Um, <clears throat> this is where they do their strength and power diagnostics. So right. they have a, a set of basically a couple tiers of testing where they're able to determine, um, you know, basically your readiness for the sport of them and they're able to tell you where you're strong and where you're weak yeah. then they compare those to the normative data across the weight classes and tell you kind of where you are and they're able to kind of like strong weak strong weak and they kind of want to build up your weaknesses and maintain your strengths right. so so each athlete has their own version of routine workout routines yes oh, yeah wow. that's a great point that is a great point it's bespoke or custom individualized to each athlete based on them right 
This place is crazy. Yeah, so this is set up for an isometric mid-thigh pull. Wow. So again, how much force you can generate, and it measures it through the form. The other thing is it's bilateral. Yeah. So for me, this is the leg I blew out. Right. I was doing this, I produced 16% less force in this leg wow. than this leg. So obviously that's a problem. We need to identify, once we've identified that, this team would work to correct that. Right. This place is really incredible. Yeah, no, we think so. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye. Thank you. So this is our innovation lab, or kind of the sports uh, science room. So we do the strength and power diagnostics out there. Mm -hmm. In here we do the kind of cardiovascular and energy system uh, diagnostics, right? ESD work, energy system development. Basically your, your energy systems that you have, the, you've probably heard of the VO2 max, mm -hmm. where you, you uh, wear the mask and you go really hard until you can't go anymore. Yeah. We're able to figure all that out in this room and then they use that information to program your workouts on how to improve what you need to improve on and maintain what you're already good at. Right. Now the other cool uh, benefit of this room is it is actually a hypoxic chamber, meaning that it can simulate high altitude, low oxygen. So they pump nitrogen in this room and then there's less oxygen. So wow. you can simulate a place like Mexico City, right. which is the highest place that the UFC currently fights at. Mm -hmm. So you can know what you're up against when you hit that altitude, it's a real thing. So, so you get yourself prepared before you actually go to that place. Yeah, or you can kind of see, okay, that's what it's gonna be like, I right. got you. Yeah, and Amanda Nunez actually at one point, we put a, a mat in here and she would train in here a couple hours a day. Oh, wow. <laughs> Here's the boss doing what bosses do, just talking Hi about there. it. Hi there, nice to meet you. Good, thanks. Gavin, he's the head of strength and conditioning here. Welcome, I've had a good tour so far. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, I'm really yeah. impressed. We've got some great stuff in here. Mm -hmm. It's really useful for our athletes as well, you know, to program individually and right. make sure we get it right. I can tell how much you guys care about the athletes. Yeah. Yeah. It makes a difference. That's the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's nice. It's uh, nice to have you said that. We, so, man, we have a bunch of, you know, Korean athletes that work with us as well. Ah. So. The fueling station. I did mention. Um, I mentioned the ability to get supplements. Thorn and UFC right. partner. Um, some just some ready to drink. Some some pre med shakes. There you go. Wow. And the meals for the athletes, right? So they don't they don't look great. I know they don't look great, but the <laughs> food is great, and yeah, it's yeah. exactly what that athlete needs so that they can get that workout in for the day and then right. make weight where they need to, right? So it's the balance. That's some familiar names. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. A lot, a lot of uh, people have started to use this place. Right. This is the recovery corridor. This is low level, low level laser light therapy. Oh. Hard for me to say. Um, <laughs> it reduces whole body inflammation. Has some benefit for your mitochondria, etc. Wow. This is the cryo chamber. So you know the benefits of oh. cryo again. Yeah. Now this is super cold one, right? Yep. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Now this. Oh, oh that's yeah. pretty warm. So yeah, put your. Yeah, wow. so yeah. that's cold. Ice bath, yeah. hot tub, so you can do contrast baths, you can just wow. sit in there and recover. It's, it's great for your joints. I have really bad shoulders mm -hmm. on nights when I, if I, I work out and then I'll, I'll sit in here maybe three, four hours later at the end of the day. I sleep much better because my shoulders, you know, that inflammation in the palm. Sauna, steam, hydroworks, treadmill. So here's where, uh, here's where we do the fighting, oh. right? So you got Obviously a 30 foot octagon, a 25 foot octagon. Right. Uh, some weights and cardiovascular equipment up here. And then a wrestling matted area here. And I'm assuming the athletes have to book their time here? Yes, that's a take great turns. point. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a great point. So we have a lot of athletes that are going to fight each other. Yeah, that's yeah. the nature of the beast. So we have to book them out. And that, that front desk area where I met you, that's one of the most important places in the building. Because right, that's right. where we get these people that need to be in here, in here at the times. That's where warriors train. Yes, sir. Ah, is this a meeting room? This is. So this is our media center. Um, and, you know, again, I, you've seen all the... Uh, all the equipment and whatnot, I would like to think that uh, transcends 
just the building and what we're really trying to do is uh, figure out the best way to train for MMA right? and then disseminate that knowledge globally. Right. Mm -hmm. So we have a sister facility in Shanghai, China. Oh, that's right, yeah. It's the same teams. Mm. Um, you know, we, we talk to them all the time. We have an academy there. Um, hopefully we'll get some Korean fighters in the academy at some point this year. Um, you know, and that place is really instrumental in supporting the road to UFC athletes, which, mm -hmm. you know, we're, you're here for, right? This yeah. is the finale. Um, They're so, excited. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're all so excited and we'd love to get some of those Korean athletes over to uh, Shanghai training at that PI again. Uh, a UFC athlete, if you're under contract, you can train here, you can train at that PI, you can train at the PI in Mexico City, and all these benefits will be there for you. Wow. I think I can summarize this whole place with one word, optimization. Optimization, I love it. Yeah, yeah. I always like to say, optimize your day, my friend. I don't know what that means, <laughs> but yeah. So if you hear if you hear that, that means somebody's in a sports psychology session. So oh, that was the right. sports psychology room. Ah. So pretty cool, right? So, so is that like a mental coach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does it handle stress, anxiety, all yeah. that stuff? Yeah, performance yeah. anxiety. You know, how do you deal with the fact that you're doing something pretty important for your life for big money and that if you lose, um, it's bad. If you win, there's a lot of great things, you know? How do you deal with that? I mean, as, perform a, your best? as a Hall of Famer yourself, mm -hmm. do you wish that this was available oh, of course, during your yeah. time? Yeah, yeah. And then that's one of the things, you know, when I got involved, I was thinking, What's the, the best of everything I would have wanted? Right. How can we give that to the UFC athlete? And this is so much better than I could have wanted because I didn't even know a lot of this stuff was out there. Right, you know? right. Um, you know, oh, there you go. Oh, all right. <laughs> so, yeah, again, sporting. Happy, that's good, uh, good timing. Yeah, exactly. So, it's all a right. big, you know, it's a big, important thing, and I think we're going to. We're gonna help a lot of people. And as long as you're around, I think this place is in good hands. So. Oh yeah, we yeah. got a lot of smart people here, and me. <laughs> well, thank you very much. No, I thank appreciate you. Appreciate your time. Yeah, appreciate it.